Hello everyone and welcome to the Tech Radar to discover the latest innovations that you might see in June at VivaTech this year with the one and only Alexi. Hey Alexi, good to see you again. Hi Asha, how are you? I'm good. So you're always coming here with very weird objects. So what is yeah, this? Th this one is really weird, but it's, it's really interesting. So today I wanted to highlight our country of the year, uh, which is actually India it will join us in, in June with us at VivaTech. Uh, so basically when I'm, I, I wanted to prepare this episode, I kind of looked into you know, the Indian culture and a lot of different things. And I discovered amazing facts uh, about India. For instance, did you know that it has like the highest population in terms of vegetarian, which is completely crazy. So I decided to present to you three innovations that are linked to three interesting facts uh, about India. The first fact, a very interesting fact, is that India has the only floating uh, post office in the world. Wow. So it, it, it's because you need to see pictures of it. So it's not surprising that we see a lot of different startups working in India on this kind of you know, packaging and management of you know, post office and this kind of thing. So it's the case of Unbox, which is an amazing startup uh, coming from India. And they can install in just one week in any warehouse uh, this kind of robotics uh, you know, people like these little robots that can work and make any warehouse smart, uh, low cost, sustainable. So it's amazing. You, you need to check it out. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. This is, this is great. So, and I'm sure you have other things that uh, install yeah. in stores somewhere. I yeah? actually like, I have a second fact for you and, and it's a little question. Do you know how many languages, official languages are actually spoken in India? Right. I know there are many of them. There are many. Many Just more. Try a number. More than a thousand. I no, think. it's not. <laughs> it, it's not that much actually, but it's twenty-two. Uh, it's it's just crazy. No 22. dialects. I think there are more than a thousand dialects, oh, but maybe. lots of different languages maybe. because in each uh, different geographies you, they speak like a different dialect. Definitely, yeah. but it's, it's just had like it just inspired me to present to you an innovation that we're going to be welcoming in June at VivaTech. It's not Indian, but it's called Waverly Labs. And they're basically developing this kind of product that's called subtitles. And it's basically a double screen okay. uh, that live translates uh, in different languages that uh, so people can talk in different languages and it's basically translated live. In so real time? In real time, obviously. Oh, so great. for instance, we would have the screen there, we'd talk to you in English, it would translate in French on your side. And if you would talk to me in French, it would translate me in English on my side. So it's, it's crazy. This is brilliant for interviews. I mean, for us journalists yeah, exactly. doing interviews with people speaking different languages, this is we really use great. It here, <laughs> but there, there. Um, and the last innovation and the last fact, and it's, it's probably the most amazing one, is did you know that during World War II, uh, the Taj Mahal was actually hidden uh, with bamboos uh, to hide it from bombers? It's, it's just mind-blowing, isn't right, it? Right, I didn't know about that fact, but they are smart. Yeah, Indians they're very, are smart. very smart. So, and, and it kind of inspired me because I know that a lot of people, the, the kind of big idea of using plants and nature to do other things that are not supposed to do is really, really com uh, contemporary subjects, actually. And what I have here, it's actually a super interesting project. Uh, and it's, it's from a startup that's called Bio. Uh, so basically they're working on completely rethinking the relationship that people have with nature. So for instance, they've been for years trying to work on installations uh, with plants mm -hmm. and making them interactive. So if you touch them, it's like the lamps. If you touch them, ah. it can make music and all this kind of thing. So it's really interesting, but they, uh, they were really, really nice to give us this object, which is a really, really early prototype, as mm -hmm. you can see, of what might be a complete revolution for agriculture. So okay. it has no electronics on it, obviously, uh, yeah. for safety reasons and all of things. But what is this is the biosensor. So basically, it's a smart object for agriculture. So you, you would put that uh, in lands and fields to make it you know, interesting and, and smart. Uh, but the big thing about it is that it's not powered by energy like solar or electricity, but it's actually creating electricity from the soil itself. So, oh. yeah, as you can see, this little part is in the soil. It's so you feeding. just put it in the ground Definitely. and it, it uses the energy from the soil to create energy, actually. Exactly. And it just powers this kind of smart objects by itself automatically, which is completely crazy because it reduces by, I don't I think, think like 10 times uh, the cost of you know traditional batteries or uh, solar panel or this kind of thing. So it's really, really early. As you can see, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm really I'm, I'm not really confident with it. Uh, but the big idea is that you're going to be able to test all the bio products and to discover the latest version of this prototype 
at Vivatech in June. So really looking forward to discover that. And uh, thank you so much, Alex. It's thank always you, exciting Rachel. to discover new innovations. And of course, if uh, you want to showcase your innovations, feel free to write to us and subscribe to our channel. And hopefully you're going to meet Alexi in June and myself. We're going to be there in June. So feel free to come and join us. So I'll see you in June then. Definitely. Thank yeah. you. Thank you and see you next time. Bye bye.